So we can now properly begin tracing our floor plan by first creating the overall outline of our reference floor plan. So most of the time we'll be using the rectangle tool and trace over known geometries. And if you mess around, just control Z. And you could toggle on or off through the scene tabs, our reference drawing. And as you go along, erase immediately unnecessary extra lines. And work your way along the reference drawing, switching from the two scenes that we have created. And you could safely erase unnecessary lines because we have locked our reference draw. I'm using R for rectangle and then E to erase. So after creating the outline, we could uh, extrude that. But of course, we want also to model the interior and exterior walls. So we again trace the interior rectangles. Could also select the pencil. By the way, you could model independently your interior walls with your exterior walls, but I want to model them together. So I'll remove discontinuity between the planes. So after tediously outlining the interior and exterior walls of your floor plan, you can now simply pull your walls up. So select on the pull push tool and then select on the walls to pull them up. However, you would notice immediately there's a resistance, meaning there's something wrong with our model. Okay, so let's just type first the height, let's for example 3200, enter. And you'd notice that the walls have two colors, white and gray. And this shows the two faces or two sides of the faces in SketchUp. So white signifies the front side and the gray signifies the back side. And we always want to show the front side of geometries in SketchUp because this is important, especially in applying materials later on. When you are going to use extensions such as rendering engines or plugins, majority of those uh, rendering softwares needs to properly map materials onto the front phases of surfaces. So always check the orientation of your geometries. Okay, This could be avoided if we have thoroughly cleaned our geometry. So. A closer inspection would uh, tell us that there is something wrong with our geometry, okay? So, there's discontinuity here because of the appearance of a line. So, I have created another one here which is cleaner geometries or a cleaner uh, wall with no errors. So, once I extrude the walls up, Immediately, it's correct. Okay, so 3,200, enter. Now, 
going back, you could uh, always select the faces and then right click and then reverse the faces. Okay. However, this is a tedious work, especially if you have a lot. But uh, I need to inform you that you should always orient correctly the faces of your geometries. So what we will do is select again one of the proper uh, phases and then right click and then this time orient phases. Okay, so click on orient phases and this time it corrected all our surfaces. However, we still have this issue. Okay, another possible uh, option is let's undo that. We select all and then we reverse the phases. And so once we extrude it, 8200, then it's already oriented properly. We also want the floor to be oriented properly because we're going to attach materials later on to this. But of course, we shall be extruding that also later on. So if I were you, I will choose this option. It's much more efficient. Make sure that all your geometries are clean and you are accurate in creating your outlines.